the KGB was even curious about this gentleman. It may look innocent. Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, a great spiritual leader or maybe a great charlatan and crook, depending on which, from which side you are looking at him. Uh, Beatles were trained at his ashram in Hardwar in India how to meditate. Mia Farrow and, and other uh, useful idiots from Hollywood visited his uh, school and they returned back to the United States absolutely zonked out of their minds with marijuana, hashish and crazy ideas of meditation. To meditate, in other words, to isolate oneself from the current social and political issues of your own country to get into your own bubble, to forget about troubles of the world. Obviously, KGB was very fascinated with such a beautiful school, such a, a brainwashing center for stupid Americans. I was dispatched by the KGB to check what kind of VIP Americans attend this school. That's you on the left. Yes, right? I'm on the left. Uh, I, I, I was trying to get enrolled in that school. Unfortunately, the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi asked too much. He wanted 500 American dollars for enrollment. But my function was not actually to get enrolled in the school. My function was to discover what kind of people from the United States attend this school. And we discovered that, yes, there are some influential members of family, uh, uh, public opinion makers of the United States, who come back with the crazy stories about Indian philosophy. Indians themselves look up upon them as idiots, useful idiots. To say nothing about KGB, who looked at them as, as, as extremely naive, misguided people. Obviously, a VIP, say a wife of, of, of a congressman or, or a prominent Hollywood personality, after, the, after being trained in that school, is much more instrumental in the hands of, of manipulators of public opinion and KGB than a normal person who, who understands, who, who looks through this, this, uh, this, this type of, of uh, fake religious training. Why would they be more susceptible to manipulation? I just mentioned that because, you see, a, a person who is too much involved in, 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 in introspective meditation, you see, if you carefully look what, what Maharishi Mahesh Yogi is teaching to, to Americans, is that all, most of the problems, most of the burning issues of today can be solved simply by meditating. Don't, don't, don't rock the boat. Don't get involved. Just sit down, look at your navel and meditate. And the things, due to some strange logic, due to cosmic vibration, will, will, will settle down by themselves. This is exactly what the KGB and Marxist-Leninist propaganda want from Americans, to distract their uh, opinion, uh, attention, and mental energy from real issues of the United States into a non-issues, into a non-world, non-existent uh, harmony. Obviously, it's more beneficial for the Soviet aggressors to have a bunch of duped Americans than Americans who are self-conscious, healthy, uh, physically fit, and alert to, to the reality. Mm -hmm. Maharishi Mahesh Yogi obviously is not on the payroll of the KGB. But whether he knows it or not, he contributes greatly to demoralization of American society. And he's not the only one. There are hundreds of those gurus who come to, you, to your country to capitalize on naivete and stupidity of, of Americans. It's a fashion. It's a fashion to meditate. It's a fashion not to be involved. So obviously, you can see that if, if KGB were uh, that curious, if they paid my trip to Hardwar, if they assigned me to that, to that strange job, obviously they were very much fascinated. They were convinced that that type of, of, of brainwashing is very efficient and instrumental in demoralization of the United States. Our conversation with Yuri Alexandrovich Bezmianov, who is a defector from the Soviet Union, a former propaganda agent for Novosti and the KGB, will continue after this message.